G'day guys, see my Shelly, the Aussie Geocacher Letterbox Caching. Letterbox Caching? Letterbox Caching. location this is and again just another reason why I love to geocache like seriously anyway I digress it's the peace and harmony here in Australia letterboxing guys that's right we're talking about letterbox caches today now letterboxing itself started back in the 1800s before geocaching existed before GPS even existed as well and letterboxing existed by uh, getting a, a list of clues and hints and tips and then you follow those clues very very much just like a pirate treasure hunt you know where they say hey, x marks the spot exactly the same sort of way you know you go to this location here under the big tree you take three steps forward you take two steps back you do the hokey pokey you turn yourself around similar to that you know what i'm talking about <laughs> so this here letterbox caching letterbox geocaches are a derivative of that and what that means is they can be either a mystery cache they can be either a traditional cache, they can be even a multi-cache as well. So any of those three. And the only difference is, is that they must contain a rubber stamp. So the old letterboxing style is, you used to go around with your letterboxing booklet and you used to stamp your booklet with a stamp out of the cache container and then you used to put your stamp in their cache book itself. That's the old letterboxing. And you know what, it's kind of similar in geocaching as well. Uh, except you don't have to do the stamp exchange. You can, but you don't have to, as long as your name is featured on the logbook, just like every other geocache out there. So when we're talking about letterbox caches, there's not that many actually out there in the wild. And the ones you do find are pretty cool. So if you want to hide some more out there, go for it. As long as they're either a traditional style, a mystery style, or a multi-style, and they contain a rubber stamp, their class is a letterbox geocache. I myself have one. Uh, out in the wild and it gets found eh, every so often. <laughs> Letterbox caching is just a, another avenue of geocaching itself and again just adds another layer of, of fun to this, this this game that we play. Let me know in the comments below guys how many Letterbox caches have you found? I can tell you there's not that many around and they are fun to do so make sure you do some more. Meanwhile in the next video guys I'm going to talk about where I go. That's right where I go. They're another pretty cool avenue of geocaching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe guys so you don't miss out on any of the geocaching fun. Meanwhile I might fly that drone around again. It's a beautiful beautiful thing. I love my drone. I love my drone. This is Timo Shell. I'm crazy but I'm over and out. <laughs>